Kia ora, I'm Mike Pohio, I'm the Chief Executive of Tainui Group Holdings. In the very first instance it capitalises on what we've got. And we've got land, we've got the railway going through, there's 11,000 trains a year running through the East Coast Main Truck Line. Uh, the expressway is coming, so that's got something like 6 million uh, movements a day. So for the development capability that TGH has, we're wanting to apply that into some key pieces of infrastructure that will enable Hamilton to take its rightful place as a major uh, part of the Golden Triangle. The biggest risk for us is to just see that freight running through the city and just dealing with having to make roads and deal with the congestion. In every container and every truck that goes through, there's an opportunity for value add. For value add to be done here in the Waikato, for people here to be employed, for people to apply themselves and to live in a great city. So we would lose that opportunity if, if we did nothing. It would go to others. And particularly in the case of what we've seen is Tauranga just grow from strength to strength. Uh, Auckland will continue to grow and uh, without complementing what is already happening in Hamilton, we are missing out on our, uh, I guess, political voice, on our economic contribution to the wider region. Well, I'm, I, I think they will. What we're able to, to illustrate is that uh, we are a competent developer. Uh, with quality and scale. The base is the best example of that and we think that people will have confidence to start with that what we talk about developing we will actually deliver on. This is a great series to be part of. Uh, we'd encourage you to come along. Thanks very much. See you there. Hi there, I'm Julie Hardacre, the Mayor of Hamilton, and I'm going to be speaking at the University of Waikato's Winter Lecture Series on the future of our city. Now this is a huge and amazing topic, and I'm really looking forward to talking to all of you about what my aspirations are for us in 20 or 30 years' time. Hamiltonians, we struggle a little bit about who we really are. A little bit of an identity crisis. I think around in our head there's all these ideas and we certainly know we're connected to agriculture and we've got the beautiful Waikato River and when you get up high and look out over our city it is truly beautiful, very green and magnificent. But I think as Hamiltonians we're still trying to work out who we are. Talk to outsiders about Hamilton. You know, they've got to stop for a few seconds and think a little bit about it. I think largely they see Hamilton as, you know, a little bit of a, just a town in the middle of the North Island. A little bit foggy, possibly a little bit dull, and certainly a little bit of a cow town. I think people's perception of our city is that we're still very small and we haven't quite got it all together. So one of the things we need to talk about is, is that really us? Because I don't think it really is. There's lots of great things going on in our city and I just think we need to articulate those a little bit better and I'm certainly very keen to tell you about how I think we can do that. things we ponder all the time is what are we going to be like in 2030, 2040, 2050? How big will we be? What will our city look like? When I think about that, I'm thinking about the river. I'm thinking about Hamilton certainly being known for its river, the mighty Waikato River, and that will very much brand our city. I also think that in the future we'll be well and truly known as a centre of commerce for New Zealand. Some of the things we do really, really well here is the economy and our successful business connections with agriculture and the world. We are one of New Zealand's largest exporting cities. We need to tell our stories about that, so my vision in 2030, which I'm going to share with you, is all about those things. If you want to hear more about all of this, come along to the Novotel on the 8th of August and you can hear me talk about my vision for the city and you can tell me what your ideas are as well. I look forward to seeing you then.